Today, we're going to remake Monster by Justin Bieber and Shawn Mendes. We're going to find the key, chords, BPM, and all the instrumentation that is used in this track, and then we're going to remake it. While making this cover, I'm going to show you how I record my bass, how I record my guitar, and also a few mixing tips along the way. If you learned something from this video, or maybe even enjoy it, feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. It really does help the channel out. And if you want to see these breakdowns in more detail, Twitch is the place to go. I remake these tracks live over there, so if you have any questions for me, you can answer them all in detail. Links down below. All right, let's get into it. Let's get under the covers with Monster by Shawn Mendes and Justin Bieber. Here we go! Justin Bieber and Shawn Mendes, here we go. Talk about star power. They're just gonna rake in the views no matter what they release. Although, thankfully for me, it's a good song. So that's why we're covering it. <laughs> Monster. Okay, we go for yellow. Yellow seems like a scary color, right? We're gonna need key, chords, and BPM. What if I, what if I D minor? What if I, what if I C major? Am I the G minor? Just let me be flat major. And that key is D minor. BPM, you know the drill. Let's get to it. I'm gonna click along to the beat and see if it works. Then my the monster. 147, 147. A beautiful BPM. That's quite high. Now it's actually you're gonna feel a half tempo, which is 73.5. What if I, what if I in there? But I'm counting one. Am I the monster? Just so I can record things a little bit easier. So we're just kind of going double time. And then we have instruments. There's guitar, organ. The organ's real cool, it's like jazzy, kind of held notes, especially through the chorus. Drums, kick, snare, hi hats. There's a vocal sample. They take the melisma and they speed it up. Whoa. And uh, it sounds great. Bass, vocals. Well, it's actually a huge issue every single day. I'm not as good as a vocalist in these songs, so we're gonna have to do a bit of tuning. But we will try our best. BVs. And then we might as well throw in our impacts and risers, you know, the good stuff. Where do we start? I'm kind of thinking organ guy. Organ. Luckily, Logic has so many fantastic instruments already built in, so let's just find an organ. Sorry for my hair, it's gone weird today. It's the lockdown cut. In Ireland, we're in lockdown. Yeah, it's got that real soulful. What's a soulful, like, kind of organ? <laughs> How about soul organ, maybe? <laughs> mm, not quite. Top end organ? Oh yes, beautiful. Top end organ is kind of what I was expecting the soul organ to be. Count in, good, and let's record this. We're just going with the chords. D minor, C, G minor, B flat. What if I, what if I'm Play that pretty messily, but we can fix it. Fixed velocity, select an upright, all to 100. Doris. Mm, I want to go with drums next. Get the beat in, it'll make us feel nice. Kick first. Boom. Ka. Boom. Ka. Cool. Go with marquee two. So let's duplicate that kick across, and if there's more hits, we'll be able to put them in. Kick on the one and the four, and then we have a bar rest. So let's throw in a snare. We do want this thud. We're going to rob him from the last day. Comes in on the three of every bar. Okay, rim shot with that as well. Monster. So hard not to sing along with it. So catchy. So let me just try and find a really authentic snare. Snare sound nice. Hi hats. I'm gonna use the Logic Drummer because they have really authentic hi hats. Get rid of the kick snare. Only keep hi hat. Take away our fills. Let's go for bass next. We can come back to the drums in a bit and improve them if we need to. The bass is interesting. It sounds kind of like a sub. It's like really like boom, boom. Let's play it in with the sub and just have a wee listen to see. <laughs> a wee listen. I have a listen to see how it would sound with the bass in as a sub, and then we can change the sound afterwards if we're not happy. D, D, C, C, G, G, nice. Quantize. There's anything I don't want out of time, it's my bass. <laughs> I'm tempted to give this a go. Let me plug this into the guitar cable. Recording some real bass. I'll be able to get some real sounds on top of that sub because the sub's giving us the warmth. But that's probably because I'm <laughs> not great at playing. B flat this time. Woo! Talk about a quiet recording. Let's have a listen to that. Nice, we can work with that. Okay, we're just fixing the timing here. I played one or two wrongs, so I've gone to flex pitch here and then the rhythmic, and then we're changing times here. Two, three, four. That sounds good. I just want to do a bit of tuning. I have an awful habit of grabbing my guitars and not tuning them before recording. Gorgeous. I'm tempted to put a little bit of sidechain compression on the top organ. So how do we do that, right? So we have to put the compressor on the organ. Dynamics, compressor, sidechain up here on the top. We want to go to input and I'm going to go to the kick. Go to sidechain and anytime the kick happens. <laughs> oh, did you hear that? That's way too much, but you get the idea. Nice. All right. Okay, let's do guitar next. <laughs> cool. I think you're just playing the chords normally. Let's record. Two, off. 
What if I fall? Cool, and then I'll put like another guitar over that. Okay, so basically every time the snare happens, there's like a whoa, real stereo imager. So this is the second guitar. Okay, I really hope that works. <laughs> I'm gonna use the RC20 to try and make it wider. All right, let's get this guitar actually right. Yes. And then maybe just a quarter note delay on top of that as well. Maybe an eight as well. Okay, I'm just gonna throw in some impacts and risers. You know, it just makes us feel things. There we go. So we had a white noise there. The white noise going through the whole thing, just a tiny little bit. Just give us stuff with the white noise and then cymatics fell and we have a small one as well. And then we just a crash. It's a swell, but I cut the swell in half. All right, sweet. Let's give this no sing song. Lead vocal. I apologize in advance. <laughs> but what if I, what if I dream? But what if I, what if I fall? Then am I the monster? Just let me know. Sorry, lads. Okay, fade in and out. Double click. Hit the flex pitch. Grab them all. We can double click. Or you can use the pitch correction. Bring the vibrato down to 37. We're going to ruin some notes there. But should be all right. Monster. Okay, let's try this vocal again. I'm gonna try and go gentle. Here we go. What if I, what if I break? If then am I the monster? Just let me know. Acapella. That was a total mistake there, but then I was like, let's go for it. Tune these guys. And we'll use that as our third vocal. And let's try and get a lead. Will we play along with the organ? And we'll make it like real soulful this time. And what if I, what if I sing? And what if I, what if I break? But then am I the monster? Just let me know. Yeah, that was a bit mad. All right, we'll keep that as a lead. BVs. Okay, Sean Mendes is singing up the octave in the first chorus. My lord, it's so high. What if I, what if I fall? What if I trip? What if I, what if I fall? Sweet. Okay, out the left. But then am I the monster? Just let me that's roof. Very rough. And once it's all gentle in the background, BVs don't have to be tidy. All right, will we have a listen? Sure it'll be rude not to. Here we go. This is Monster by Justin Bieber and Sean Mendes. Coming to a cinema near you. Here we go! But what if I, what if I can? But what if I, what if I fall? Then am I the monster? Just let me know. But what if I, what if I see? Very nice. Woo! <laughs> Let's do the bit for YouTube. Here we go. I have to get the hair right though, you know? To get the hair looking well. They judge me on YouTube. They judge me. <laughs> 